Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Ozone. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, we have a distinguished actor in our midst. I am very happy you came down. Thank you, brother. I'm glad both of y'all came through. Yes, sir. Hey, T, you can put on the headphones if you want to hear all of us. Is is his hot, Ernie? Yeah, check it, check it out, brother. Get in. But uh, but we were just speaking. We were just speaking. Now I ran into you with the Steelers going now on an eight game winning streak, seven eight game winning streak. No joke. Man, I'm it's still over, serious. It's over for the Steelers. Well, let's, let's, let's move into the next game. That. I, I, I feel that. the same way. Let's move into the next game. Let's talk about whap, 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 which is the Chiefs, who the you've Chiefs. been touting their horn all year, <laughs> 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 who, 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 who was full full staffed. It's not like they have no excuse. They have no excuse. Alex Smith played a bad game. I've been Alex saying Smith that. is a bad playoff quarterback. I don't, I don't agree with that because when he was with the 49ers, he was okay. No, because he had Harbaugh. No, it wasn't, it wasn't just hardball. I'll tell you what, it was that one game when he played, was that against the uh, the Saints, I believe, and he like, yes. he murdered the Saints. But Kaepernick murdered the Saints. But Kaepernick came back in and he took it. But he's not a playoff quarterback to me. I don't he think that he's ball a, deep. I, I, honestly, he can't throw the ball deep. He just doesn't make good decisions. He breaks under pressure because Tyreek Hill was open a he few times. He was open a few times. And, 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 and you can't miss him. And you can't, you you gotta, can't miss you him. You have to see that. This is, That's this why he's out dance. there. Because he's black as hell. How you going to miss him? <laughs> in the snow. He look out there, in the snow, looking like a flaming hot cheetah. <laughs> looking like a flaming hot cheetah. I'm open. It's a flaming flame. Get up, get, get, get down. Tyreek Hill in the jump. It's real. And he was open and Alex Smith didn't see him. I got a lot of problems with the Chiefs. Let's get this. First first and foremost, you can't score touchdowns and the other team score field goals and still lose. lose. Exactly. This is what I'm saying, though. This is how awesome their defense was. Their defense did that thing. Because you you let you let you let Le'Veon Bell run for almost 200 I yards. I mean, he but, ran all And he didn't get in the end zone. It's like Le'Veon was doing algebra back there. He was, <laughs> he was sitting at the line looking, I'm going to cut this way. Oh, no, no, no. The probability of me getting tackled inside of 10 yards exactly. is 14%. I'll go right. Yo, when he did that one. But he couldn't get in the zone. Yo, I know. They kept, but they couldn't get in. And, like, when he threw the arm, um, when, when Big Ben threw that interception, it was a tip. And then Eric Berry was Eric Berry. Good gave God, you-, you can't stop that dude. Nice hands. He's, T-bone. He, good, good. Yeah, you cannot stop Eric Berry, man. No. And I love him. He's from Atlanta, too, man. So <laughs> he's right. that dude. Yeah, he's man, he's an all-world safety, man. All-world. It might be him and, him and Earl Thomas, the two best safeties in the league. He got burnt, though. He got burnt last night. But he, he's It didn't hurt the team like that, though. It didn't, it didn't hurt the team, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah but either way it goes, I mean, let's talk about it. There's, there's a couple things that I want to bring in the fold on this, which is, for once, it seems like the bye actually hurt these teams with the bye. And I've it's been for I, I've been talking been often. about I, it's often in other sports. Well, it didn't hurt the Falcons. It did not hurt the actually. You know what? I don't know about this. They, it didn't hurt because obviously they're in the championship game. But they look. I'm, but, I mean, the offense looked amazing. The defense from the word go. Good too. What, yeah. But what I was gonna say, what I'm saying right. is, is that I was surprised because everybody came out a little rusty, they did, except for Matt Ryan. No, no, but I'm talking about the defense came out and got oh, yeah, torched oh, that defense, first drive. Yeah, that first drive. And and when we get to the next game, yeah. what, that's what cost the Cowboys their. That's what cost the Cowboys. Yeah. Their defense cost them that. Oh, yeah. But let's let I digress. Let's okay. stay with this Chiefs and, and Steelers Chiefs. game. Yes, yes. And so Kansas City comes out. I didn't really think they had an advantage playing at home because the Steelers are a cold weather team. Mm-hmm. So it's not like the elements really played a factor. Right. I also don't believe that lie that the NFL cares about the fan safety getting into the stadium, and that's why they moved the game to prime time. So why do you think they moved the game <laughs> for ratings? Because that's just like another Sunday night football game that they got out of the deal instead of a daytime game. That's true. I think that's why they did it. And it it worked. I mean, it was a monster game coming off of the back of another monster game. Of a beautiful game. Of an instant classic game. Instant. Oh, my God. Okay, let's talk about this shit. Are you going to cry? I was about to say, are you okay, brother? You need a handkerchief? (laughs) It is King Day. And, and, and like, (laughs) Dak Prescott. We'll talk about that later. We're about to talk about him. We're going to speak on him in a minute. Yes. But but, so so the Chiefs come in. uh, Ultimately, I'm falling back on what I said all season. Andy Reid will find a way. Let me finish what I'm saying. Andy Reid will find a way to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. <laughs> he's always and this done is that. why. And this well, he's is why a great coach. This is, he is a great. He's a great regular season coach. Yes. And this is why I'm saying this. The only reason I'm saying is the defense came to play. There's no doubt about it. Minus penalties. Penalties cost the Chiefs that game. And just like how you always like to ride on the Raiders, the penalties are the job of, of the coach. coach to get the team prepared, yes, to, to be, be mentally prepared, it's to be disciplined. disciplined. That Travis Kelsey penalty was so stupid, it didn't man. hurt the team because they, they picked him up. Yeah. But that that kind of reverse motion hurts you. 
obviously they lost the game on the two point conversion. Yeah. When, and, when, and, and, but you know, on when, a penalty, yeah, on, a, on an obvious hit, penalty, on an obvious. Penalty. But wait a minute, though, that happens every series. If no, no, watch, that one, that one was way. Oh, was, that was, was egregious. Were you talking about Kelsey? Are you talking? No, about I'm talking about, about the whole. The whole. I, I'm talking about the whole where no. he pushed Harrison into the ground. Oh yeah, he, but he no, fell on top no, of him. No, he Nikita Koloff iron sickled him <laughs> yeah. to the ground. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. But they should have been in that place in the first place. And I'm going to take. I'm going to Andy Reid. This time, it's not his fault because Alex Smith could have been the difference maker it's Alex if he could have if he could have read the defense because the Steelers were burnt yeah. every single time Tyreek Hill was out there and ran a stretch uh, ran a streak or something he was open yeah and, I agree and he Alex was. Smith is just and, like and his he progression like he had something against him he yeah, and his progression was the day yeah exactly he's not a he's he's not a Super Bowl quarterback no he's a regular season quarterback he'll get you ten wins well, no no every year I think he's a manager I think that you know he's yes. a manager and yes. we, you don't need a manager and with that offense with that talent that they have because yeah. they have above speed yes. on every position. Yeah, 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 you know what? I agree with you because you know why? He doesn't take enough risks. No. Yeah, and, and you need a guy that is willing to try to jam the ball. You know what? I'm going long. Right. I'm trying to jam the ball in because I have the kind of talent that can pick me up. He has the best I mean, tight end in the game. I mean, yep. Gronk is hurt. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. You're Gronk not the, the best tight end in the game. You're right. the best tight end in the game. He's Gronk never plays. He's faster than Gronk. Now, Gronk is a better blocker. Gronk is the greatest blocker I've ever seen in the tight end position. I don't know. Mark Bavaro was great. Mark Bavaro was a monster yeah. at blocking. But like, but but he's faster, he's quicker, and he's he's swagged out. But so is Gronk. <laughs> yeah. Gronk's Gronk swagged out. Yeah, I don't you, you Gronk. Catch, you I catch Gronk, Gronk, Gronk on Gronk, that yacht. Yeah, Gronk yacht. will drink you under the With the bag. Gronk juice. juice. Gronk juice. <laughs> yeah, but like, but he has the best tight end in the game. He has the, he has. There's no speed. excuse. He has, he has crazy he has, speed. That's Tariq Hill, man. Tyreek Hill literally ran by the DBs baby last flavor. night. Flavor, flavor, flavor. He got baby flavor. <laughs> flavor, <laughs> flavor. Got, the so fastest cat in the league. Well, dude, well and, yeah. and what he didn't do is he didn't get it done. And then boys, the killer bees on the other side got it done. Let's talk about Ben Roethlisberger really quickly because I personally, you've been talking about it. I, this is I, before the playoffs. I, I withhold. I have always maintained the argument that Ben Roethlisberger gets overshadowed by Peyton Manning, Aaron Rodgers, and Tom Brady. Yeah. And in the big game. You give me, you talk about a guy that's 100%, give, oh, give me, me Big Ben. ben. 100, well, he's oh, never 100%. But I'm saying. For the first game of preseason. He's thrown one of the best passes in NFL history. In NFL history. In, a, in the Super Bowl. But what, but what I'm Antonio Holmes. I thought I told you, you're right, yes. But, but what I'm saying is, is in general, he's a big-time ball player. Even last night, now, to me, it looked like 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 his shoulder's still messed up from last year. Yeah. Like, he's crocodile-arming passes. I think yeah. it's, it's, his arm is finished, honestly. And you think he just got the dead arm? Yeah, I just think his arm is finished. He He's played forever. 13 years, I mean, he put in work, but, and he gets beat up. But when Justin Houston's out yeah. there trying to guard Antonio Brown? What, and you can't get the ball out there? Yeah. Terrib- well, no, 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 no. He got it out there no, for the game. Did. No. He got it out there for the game, by the way, because Antonio Brown ran a perfect route and ran right by Justin Houston. He's supposed who, to. Je- I, of course he is, but he's not. Houston's a defensive lineman. Yeah, but <laughs> at the same time, this is come back to Andy Reid. This, no. this, this is the defense that you call. Yeah. No, wait. This is the defense it, that you wait, call. Wait, 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 wait. Which, which puts no, Justin no, no, Houston. No, 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 no,
How your boy Michael Crabtree get his chain snatched, bro? Hold on a second. Let's okay. Let's let's. Why let's are you do that. out there snatching chains this in the middle of the field? Hey, <laughs> so you know, I'm t- not at the club. Talib is a dang what Talib is. I'm not it? at the club. Oh, well, he's snatching. Why? Boy, why child. is it cool? And then do nothing to, about it. Why what is he supposed to do? Supposed to do? Supposed to hurt the fight? team? You gonna hurt the team, the team and the get team baited? Was already done. I mean, no, that, <laughs> that, was already... that game wasn't over at that point. No. That was the beginning of the game. She snatched that boy chain. Looked at him. Talib shouldn't even be in the league. Honestly, I was, I was just about to say. More importantly, Talib why is, a... is it okay in the NFL to go snatch another man's possession with no penalty? No penalty after the game. He didn't get arrested. He didn't, <laughs> he didn't, I mean, didn't nothing. You didn't get arrested. You stole that man's chain. <laughs> Strong arm robbery. And That's then exactly. the media jams you up, and he says, "Oh yeah, he didn't do nothing. He went talking, looking for the ref." What's he supposed to do? He's supposed to pull out a knife, thug guy? <laughs> he's on, supposed man. to stab you on the field? Is that going to make everybody like respect Dallas, him? Tlaib they, they, is one of the dirtiest dude. ball players no, in the NFL. No, he's one of the most hood dudes in the NFL. But he's, he's dirty. He's, but he's oh, he, dirty. There's plenty of hood dudes. He's dirty. He's dirty. He's out there headhunting in the whole oh, yeah, nine. He is, and yeah. I tell you what, we had Calais Campbell on, for uh, the pro bowler from the Arizona Cardinals uh, a couple weeks With ago. With the greatest voice in the world. With the greatest voice in the world, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, I like Calais. They're going to grab that you on, man. Yeah, I like him a lot, though, man. He's a monster. And he's a gentleman, too. Great guy. This is what he was talking about. He's yeah. talking about the way he's supposed to play the game. Yo, and he, he also like, was talking about the Steelers going to the Super Bowl, by the way. Yo, so do you remember when he hit Cam? And like it was, <laughs> and, and, and he apologized, helped him up. And I was like, that's some gentleman stuff. He's you, a gentle giant. Do you remember when he busted? He Just this year, he, uh-huh. he's the one who rolled on Tannehill's Tannehill. ACL. Oh, yeah. And then he literally went over and helped him up. And then yeah. after the game said, hey, man, I would never do something no, like that No, he doesn't. He's a, I like, I like Clay a lot. Solid person. Yeah, solid dude. And then a solid and guest a on the Ozone like yourself, bro. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so then let's move in. Let's move into the next game. Let's move into the Patriots. The, no, the Patriots game. No, let's move into oh. the Patriots game. because the, We got to say the best for last. Because, yeah. the Patriots. Patriots won. Yes. So can I say, okay, <laughs> now can I talk about the reason that I've, I'm saying that the Steelers, I'm saying Steelers, the Patriots have played nobody this season. Well, and this is and what I was about to go yeah, for. This matter. is what I was going to say. they did not say. look good against the Texans. Well, what I was but, just saying, you, you, you're jumping in my head, man. I'm sorry. But I, the no, Texans, no, it's cool. All the I'm Texans saying, have the best defense in football, and they it, the Texans had lulled them into playing their style of football. Yeah. The only problem is that they had a bunch of receivers out there that did not catch a ball. This time it was not Brock Osweiler. They, they were putting it on Osweiler, and I'm not mad at yeah. Osweiler, to be honest. He mm-hmm. put a couple balls yeah. on the money in the end zone. That Fred, guy right. Fedorovich is, is, is his name, the tight end? He dropped the pass. Remember, he jumped early? Yep. And then uh, Fuller dropped the pass in over the, the top in the zone. That's two yeah, touches. That's right. two touches. Right early, yeah. early in the game. Yep. And if you watch the game, you know that that game was a lot closer than the final score would indicate. It, it, it was a lot closer. Now, I did lose some money on that game because it was a 16-point spread. <laughs> and it didn't look like they were going to cover it. Looked, at, for no, one point, it looked like they time, might not even what, win the, the game. It, it was an eight-point game with half. like a couple of, like, like in the third quarter. And, and they were driving to go to the touchdown. I think. I and that's when, like, when they dropped the pass. That's when they dropped the pass. That's when they dropped, and and then after like, that, they had the turnover. Yes. But my thing is, my thing is, this is the first time, I will say the first First time I've yeah. ever watched the Patriots play where I said, like, oh, Tom Brady ain't shit. Yeah. <laughs> and I never say that. No, no. And Tom Brady is, in my he opinion, is shit. he is, yeah, he's 1A. Yeah. And yeah. so, like, it, like, I can't, I was amazed at how he looked like a baby. He was whining nonstop. Well, you know, like, when you put pressure on a man, like, he's, that's what I was going to say. It's always, it's, it's, it's always not been. He's not. He's not Big Ben. He's not Aaron Rodgers. No, he's not like, rolling out. He's not. Nah. He's not Cam. He's nah, not he's Dak. Not, no, he's not but Russell you have Wilson. to have somebody who can put that pass rush on him so that he can't step up in the pocket. When he steps up in the pocket, he's effective. But when you can stop him from doing that and yeah. then hit him, it's a problem for him. I want to see. That's so. That's why I was like, I have not seen them play anybody this year. It doesn't even they, matter. They're playing the AFC East, man. Like, we can beat them. We can beat them. That's what that was. Oh, yeah. But you know what? That, put, Earl, yeah, Earl Thomas came out guys. and said that. It said that if you put him in his division, then we'll see how Tom Brady really is. Exactly. Yeah, man. Like, if you for real. It's, it's the truth. It's the truth. So. It's not the truth, though. No, no, Tom, no, Brady, no, Tom, Tom Brady is the, is the truth. Yeah, that, that's, but, no, no, that's but, a good point. I'm sorry. No, they win the division every year because they play in that sorry-ass conference. No, but also. Sorry-ass division. He wins. He beats everybody. I was just about to say One reason why is because he has a coach just like they do in San Antonio with the Spurs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he has a coach that works well with him that they figure out a game plan to disassemble your team psychologically and physically. Yep. They, they take, take away your number one option. Well, so but it's gonna be hard next week. Well, who's who are you gonna take away? Brown, you're gonna take away Bell. Who are you taking away? He's gonna I take away Bell. I'm tired personally. First of you all, Pittsburgh stop. defense is not enough. He's gonna move the ball on them. They got a problem. They can't you can get an end zone on them, and that's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. That's I don't a know problem. though, because you know what? They have the tools. 
to they I have think, the tools. I think I James think, Harris, our age, exactly. <laughs> Real is. talk. But yeah. I was looking at him the other day. I was looking at him yesterday. He was balling yesterday. He, he balled. Ball. He, he balled, balled out. The hell he out balled. yesterday. He and I was like, I was so proud because he's like, yeah, he was born in the seventies, <laughs> which and is I super love rare in the league. I know, right? Now yeah. most of the cats are born in the nineties in the league. Now right. he retired two years ago. I don't know if you remember yeah, that. Yeah, he came back. And then he was upset at Goodell the whole night. Yep, and coach brought him back, man. So, but now I want to see because they. The the Pittsburgh um, defense have gotten it. better. They've don't, gotten better. Don't fall for it. I got them going to the Super Bowl. I got them going to the Super Bowl. I had them going to the Super Bowl. Uh, to me, a while ago. It, regardless of who makes it there, they're going to be a sacrificial lamb to the Atlanta. Falcons. You are damn right about that, Terry. Terry <laughs> Miller, say it again. Say it one sacrificial more time. Sacrificial lambs. Mm-hmm. You know because the league is designed for the Falcons. The way that they play football, and yeah, what I was especially co- with the Super Bowl being in Houston on the carpet again. Yeah, well, you and you guys but, really, you guys got a lot of things going in your favor. You know what? I, okay, so. Let me say this. Who would have ever thought that Villanova would have beat UNC? Who would have ever thought that the Cavs down 3-1 would come back? The Cavs have never won a championship. (laughs) No, they've never won a championship. So who would have – the Cavs won. The Cubs. uh, uh, Clemson beat Alabama 26 straight games. Guy named Donald Trump. Guy guy named Donald Trump. You know what I'm saying? This is the year of the upset. This is the year of the underdog. Calendar flip though, so I don't know about that. The season We're of the 2017. Underdog. Season of the underdog. Let's keep it the season. <laughs> of the Let's underdog. give it in the season. Hey, but Clemson won in 2017 they did. against they against did. Alabama. We're about to speak on that soon yes. too. But now what I'll say is uh, is I think it's going to be a good game coming up. I actually hope that Mike Tomlin has a team prepared. You saw Antonio Brown Facebook Live from the from the locker room <laughs> for some reason. I actually didn't appreciate that yeah. because Coach Tomlin was speaking on private stuff and one of the things coach Tomlin said was you see the league rigged up the schedule so they got an extra day and a half of rest and to prepare even though we're going to their house and he's right but that wasn't for public consumption but he's it, yeah, it, that's, that's what you the real to you. that's what you say to you people. but it's real yeah, why it's real. should if you're the home team and the Patriots weren't going anywhere whether no matter who seat. they play they should be the ones playing on Sunday yeah you yeah. know and now now it is what it is uh I expect a good game I tell you that because right. Ben Ben Roethlisberger hurt or not I tell you what, Big Ben in a big game, your money's usually no, safe. You are safe with that. <laughs> and and, and you're going to tell me it's not safe with Tom Brady. No, no, I, no didn't, I didn't say that. No, you I just said that. But sometimes Tom Brady in them big games. Especially oh, like in oh the come on now. Wait, 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 that's that's blasphemy. Against Peyton? Like, oh, I mean, that's the but see, now here's the thing. Tom Brady doesn't really have much help. I will say that. He doesn't, man. He doesn't. But I will say that also that the, the defensive line gets less credit than – They than, have decent defense this year. They, they do have, have really decent defense, defense. actually. And that addition of Chris Long who was a yes. was a nice addition that's for them. Really he plays addition. hard he for does, them. yes. And, and he, he clogs up the middle a lot. I don't think he's going to be able to stop Le'Veon Bell. But then again, this is the genius of Bill Belichick. We're going to see what he comes with. You never expect Belichick to get out coach. In these conversations that we're having, right. we talk about whose fault it is. We're gonna ne- the next segment we, we talk about is Jason Garrett. Was, we would never say it's uh, uh, Belichick. Very, very, yes, we can. Very rarely. Like, we could say in the past Pete, he has done that though. But like Pete Carroll had the, very um, rarely. Like, like mm-hmm. Pete Carroll had the mistake uh, in the Super Bowl when he threw the ball should have given the ball to uh, Beast Mode. You know what I'm saying? Like we've never said. I've never said that about uh, Belichick. Yeah. You I've remember never. when Belichick went for it on fourth down in uh, who's where were they, they playing the Colts that year? Yes, I, I do, do believe remember that. you. Remember I do that? remember that. Yeah, yeah. And they didn't make it, and that cost them. Yeah. Belichick does do that because he feels himself. But the thing of it is, is that with Pittsburgh, he's so prepared that and, even and, in him he plays, himself, he, but, but, he, still, but he plays the averages. He plays the odds. You know I don't what I'm even saying? think he plays the odds. Actually, I think that he, team by team, you can never break down their team and say, okay, this is how they're going to attack us. Right. Because last week it was Deion Lewis. Okay, now you're probably going to get a good dose of Legarrette Blunt this mm-hmm. week. You're going to get Blunt for his trauma. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> and then and then he gonna drop that little CSI bit on you. Miami. Yep. Shout out to CSI for changing my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's changing, changing, my, changing this tax bracket. <laughs> so that's great. Now let's move into what I have to say was the best game of the weekend. Easily, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and this was a monster Easily. game this weekend. Beautiful. Now I thought I had the Cowboys winning the game. I did too. And that was before I realized that Jason Garrett was not gonna stick to the game plan which is to let these young kids run amok. You cannot stop Ezekiel, Ezekiel Elliott, Elliott behind that line. You just can't stop unreal. him. They're just, there's no – the kid was getting but, but six no. yards to carry, like, on a stumble. <laughs> but but he, he always falls forward. Yo, he always falls. We were saying that yesterday. Man. We was like, he keeps falling forward. But, no, but, but, but oh, like, they both look good, man. They, they, they both – I mean, like, Dak and Ezekiel – I mean – no, 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 no. This is I take I take I Dak doesn't get the credit. And Dak. Yeah, Yo, Dak doesn't get the credit. Dak because, looks so good. Because what they oh, hold on a second. We have a we have a long time contributor. We have a caller who's been with us all season. We got Cowboy Campbell. Cowboy Campbell ready to mix it up. 
Hello? Cowboy Kev live in the ozone. What happened, brother? What happened? Are you okay? Are you on Suicide Watch over there? What had happened? <laughs> <laughs> Yeehaw! Cowboy Kev, you're on with the uh, icons, with me and the icons. You're also on with our special guest today, Omar Dorsey. Yo. You may know him from such films as Selma, <laughs> or some excellent work that he laid down in Ray Donovan, yeah. or his current project with some more excellent work that he's laying down on a beautiful show called Queen Sugar. Queen Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> And so he's well, coming. He's oh, a big fan of the Dirty Birds out there in Atlanta. And he, actually, I got a feeling uh, that he's happy that y'all didn't win. But we want to hear yeah. straight from your mouth, Cowboy yeah. Kev. Break down the game for us. Well, Ozone family, I'm happy to be on the call. Uh, a little disappointed, you know. It, it, it was a good game. Uh, I thought we got off to a very, you know, slow, rusty start, which was expected when um, – you don't play the the really the last game of the season. You basically had three weeks off, so there's ex some expected rust, and uh, really was fortunate to you know not get blown out in that first quarter. Okay. But they they adjusted, um, finally got the uh, the Dak Bryant combo going. The uh, you know Elliott, I think uh, you know he was just consistently getting five to seven you know ten yards here and there. But it just took it took a little. It was almost a little too late to uh, to really get the the squad going. And um, you know, when you're playing a team that's won seven games in a row, they got they come in with all cylinders clicking. And you know, they they had the tricks going from the start. And it was like we were we were always a, a, a step behind, even uh, coming out the second half. Uh, but but here's know, the problem the I got. Kev. Right down the field. Here's the problem that I have is that I can give you a little bit on the rust. And I can even give you even more on the rust um, with young players. Right. You know, and mm -hmm. the, the problem that I have is, once again, I got to go with the coaching staff. The coaching staff did not have these guys oh. prepared. The Cowboys had crucial penalties. Yeah, crucial. Crucial oh. penalties that hurt the team. And on top of that, the defense seemed like they were still on the bye week until – the first after the first drive of the second half, yeah. you guys still put up thirty-one points. Yeah. You're not supposed to lose listen, when you put up thirty-one points. Right. Listen, thirty-one I'm points wins total. almost every other game hey, in, in this weekend. Hey, hey, I'm I'm one hundred percent total agreement with you. Me and uh, T Bone go at this all the time. I'm not the biggest fan of Jason Garrett. Uh, he's an extension of Jerry Jones, of and course. we all know the, what the problems start there. Yep. But you can't have a young team like this with that hasn't been in this position before. Everybody knows the playoffs is a whole different animal. And so you got a young team like that. You, you That last game was crucial that they played more minutes in that game. You know, Dak played one series. Ezekiel didn't play at all. And then uh, you, you basically shut it down. So coming into a game like that, you, 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 you can't have that. And then the play calling was, was suspect. The play calling was terrible. Uh, I don't I've think the offense think... was the problem, to be honest. I think it comes down to the play calling. First and foremost, give Ezekiel Elliott the ball when it's third down. Right. Give him the ball if it's yeah. third and less than five. Give yeah. him the ball and also go for it. You brought up a great point, T, this, this, but, this weekend is that these, in the playoffs the, you got to make adjustments. Yeah, yeah you can't, can't keep kicking the, field goals against these teams. Nah. You have to get the first down. Exactly. You have to get the touchdowns. So, so for for me, knowing the weaknesses of, of of the ball club, time of possession is the most important thing for 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 the Dallas Cowboys. And you know where everybody knows the defense is suspect, the secondary is suspect. suspect. So you have to stay. But they played in, well after and, the second uh, full throttle. Man, they, they, they played well to, for for you know most of the game. They they kept. Kept us in the game. I you can't know, say they played well for most of the game. They played well for the second half. They played well after the second, they, after the first drive of the second half. They yeah. they tightened up. They did, yeah. But it was too late though. Once you get, well, and it wasn't too late, late. because that's the part they that's tied amazing. the game up. Yeah. Like, the reason why the reason why they didn't right. play well that last play yeah, when, but, um, when when when, no. when, 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 when the big boy got open. When Rodgers got to Rogers, yeah, yeah. Rogers, they wasn't Rogers, but that Rogers, that wasn't Rogers. No, that was Cook. That was Jerry Cook. But one of the problems I say is too late is because for the simple reasons that you have to expend so much to keep up or to catch to up. To come back. Yeah, yeah. to come back. Yeah. Right. You, you can't right. fall down like that against a again, team like that. Again, this is back though. to coaching. 
It is. That's poor clock right. management. That was poor. It, you gave, right. you know what I said, you're going to give Aaron Rodgers 35 seconds. This is exactly what With I two said. two timeouts. I, I was right. at the sports bar. I was like, everybody was, all the all the Cowboy fans were jumping. I was like, y'all just gave Aaron Rodgers 35 <laughs> y'all seconds. Y'all just tricked. Like, all he needs is like 40 yards. And he can yeah. do that with his yeah. eyes closed. He and did he it did with it. his <laughs> eyes closed. 37 yard pass. You know what I'm saying? Pass. The cook. Right. So I knew it. I was like, right. man, everybody was turning. And I was like, you should have ran this a little bit more, but you you got to get the score when you got to get the score. You have to get you gotta, it down. Yeah, you got to, but you 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 also you you knew that you could get um, uh, a field goal with yeah. with Bailey. He's he's you know pretty much automatic. Yeah. And so you got to you got to work the clock more. Yeah. But that's you know it's still the the, the coaching to me with uh, Jason Gary. He's more of a conservative type guy, and he doesn't he doesn't. I, I just I'm not sold on him. Being able to get that team to the promised land, but you know the the next year looks promising. You know I think everybody would be excited going into next year to see what happens with with uh, Romo in the off season that they can pick up some you know some uh, some help in the, to something for him. Up that the help for the set well the, the defense has to be addressed. The secondary has to be addressed. Claiborne, Carr, those guys have never gotten it done. Uh, we yeah. got the young guys, Jones on the, you know, that both those cornerbacks, they're they're young. One was a rookie, uh, and and you know, the other one's a, a second year player. Uh, we'll see if uh, uh, what's his name, Jalen Smith, uh, if he'll ever be able to play. Um, can I can I ask you one yeah, question though? No, we have no pass rush. Yeah, yeah, can I ask you one? Yeah. Can 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 you okay. get your pass uh-huh. rushers? <laughs> To stop smoking weed. Oh. <laughs> Is that possible? Because I'm talking oh, about them boys hey. be on that herb. I be on that kryptonite. Straight, straight up on, on that kryptonite. That I, be, I be on, on that, that I be on Yo, that them boys. On that. I mean, like, man, y'all y'all got good pass rushes, but they always suspended. They <laughs> either, they they either with the weed, man, they, they, or they just whooping some hey. ass. Or, 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 or Gregory on that um on that scissor up, ain't he? It's a lot of boys that southern. Hey. There's a little too much space and time down, down there in Texas. Texas. Man, it's in Texas, boy. Hey. Gregory be on this that scissor. This new and improved stuff, yeah. This new and improved stuff is is got cats, you know, willing to, to shake off, you know, more time in dollars of dollars to, to get it. Tricking yeah, it all. That must I, be I some very good weed. That's, I, that's, I, don't that's, want, that's, I don't want. I don't want no weed that, that make me trick make off me, ten million. I don't want, I don't want no more. No. But <laughs> let me ask you this, Kev. <laughs> Kev, let me ask you this. What about yeah. the defensive coordinator? He, Should well, he take some blame? Uh, again. He, he turned it up. He started I, blitzing later in the game. He, he did, he, no, he did he, Yeah, but you, you don't know. You just don't know. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers, you, like, adjusts have, so well. See, and I think, they, I think everybody got right. caught up in the lure of Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, I think that you give him too much, think, way too much I think, credit. I think he got way too much credit. I think he gets way too much credit for these <laughs> for these Hail Marys, which is consistently bad right. defense. Yeah, I don't is. care what anybody right. says. And Patrick like Peterson that. went to brain dead. The Giants went brain dead last week. With Cobb in the back of the end. Come on, man. And why are you in a situation where you have to go to the Hail Mary all the time? Anyway. That, that yeah. can't happen. Yeah. That can't yeah. happen. But I, I think, I think for the defensive coordinator, I think it was, you know, when you know you got a, a suspect secondary and they're young, you know, he's trying to mix it up, and it's just when you got a veteran quarterback over there that that understands how to get certain guys to to bite on stuff, you know, it, it was. It was, it was too easy for for Rodgers. He, he pretty much he knew he could get and what you know he what? wanted to. I think you bring up a great point there. Most of the time. You bring up a great point there, Cowboy Kev, is that Aaron Rodgers looked way too calm. He never he looked chill. rattled. Wait, he was right. chilling. There was never he enough was pressure until. <laughs> but Wait, not the second half. The, did you see? Did you see the one series where he didn't even put a strap on and the announcers yeah, were like, "You don't that. even have his, his chance." Yes, and no like, respect. Oh, nah, and how about when he broke out right. and ran? There were several was times he broke out and the, ran. The, the naked exactly. bootleg, but there were several. And yeah. There were several times that he broke out and ran where he didn't even where he didn't even look concerned. He didn't even slide. What they gonna do? Exactly. That's exactly what I mean. And that's when you yo, got when a he, veteran like that. Well, when he, he did that down, you, he, yo, he did that that dive. He looked like Michael Vick looked against um Philadelphia. Like he did a Superman dive to get the first down. I was like, yo, this dude is chilling right now. <laughs> I just, I, I'm with you, yeah. Kev. Anytime you got veteran guys like that who feel that comfortable, yeah, nobody's worried about getting. If you're on the field in the NFL and you're not worried about getting hurt. Some the yeah. other team is not, not doing, doing their, their job. job. That's exactly. just all it is to it. Exactly. Yep. And he's gonna have pressure exactly. this week coming up. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Oh, I think yeah. that they'll Absolutely. watch tape. Yeah. Well, Cowboy Kev, we oh, appreciate yeah. your contributions. It's been nice having you on the Ozone in uh, in football season. 
Uh, uh, we're going to see what happens in this basketball season. We know being a, a former professional uh, basketball player, you're going to have some opinions on that. But as for now, you guys are gone fishing. How about them Cowboys? <laughs> <laughs> they're playing Cowboys and Indians hey, right I'm, now. I'm, I'm, Who the Cowboys play I'm next week? Nobody. I'm, I'm, I'm going to catch the Sammons for the summer. <laughs> go catch them. All right, Kev, thanks for joining All right. us. Late. Yeah. Man, yeah, tough stuff. That, that, no, but no. Aaron Rodgers, I know that he's lighting it up and everything. But it, to me, I just the folklore, the superhero status. Yeah, <laughs> I want to bring him back back down to planet Earth because I, uh, teams give him way too much respect. Well, what it is is that he go hit him in his mouth. Hit him in well, his mouth. Anybody... I mean, this should just be everybody's defensive yeah. mantra against good quarterbacks. Yes, hit him in their mouth. So just keep just yo keep if pressure. Got, if you got to get up rough in the passer. Yep. Hit him. Hit him. That, hit him. Just hit him. Just they need to him, feel man. it. Now, this is, it. Yeah, this is where Big Ben is different than all of them. Because Big Ben's like, so what? Yeah, yeah, yeah I hit you in the mouth. <laughs> exactly. man, man, I went and I did a, I did a film called The Express yes, I years ago. That. Yeah, well, I, was with, I was with you. I was with you. You went, um, yes. Yes. When y'all was, uh, yeah. Yes. And then, and matter of fact, in uh, in uh, Syracuse. Yeah, in Syracuse and Chicago. Yes, sure yeah, was. Yep. But we, we went from the premiere in Syracuse to Cleveland yeah. to throw out, uh, to do the coin toss. Yeah. And uh, against the Browns, yes. because Ernie Davis uh, got drafted That's by the right. Browns, yes. and you know he didn't yep. didn't make it. Anyways, I walked out on the field to do the 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 coin flip with yeah. with uh, Mr. Jim Brown, That's right. uh, Dennis Quaid, myself, Rock Charles Dutton was out there. Yeah, it was great. And Big Ben was out there. Big Ben might be bigger than me. I was devastated. Big Ben is a big human being. What? That's He's a, a big man. human being. Cam like that too, though. Yo, Cam no, no, no. is in Cam, the best shape Cam, of everybody yo, Cam 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 is on the planet. Cam, Cam's just like uh, the, the, the the something like like Michelangelo. Like yeah, he's like a, he's like a statue. Something. Cam yeah, is. Yeah. I've never seen anybody yeah, rip like yeah. Cam. He's like yeah, crazy, he's, stupid rip. Man. Yeah. Um, but but yeah. So this is a this is an interesting scenario. I got a, I got a number that I found that I was just devastated by. Uh, not that it's a secret, but did you know that in the postseason, NFL kickers are thirty three for thirty three. Wow! Wow! They haven't missed yet, huh? <laughs> Every collectively, I was, I was gonna, I was gonna bring that up because these guys were suspect Lat- all year. But I all but no, no, no. Yesterday, yesterday, though, and it this was weekend, those three. They're just like put the ball down, and I'm going to kick it. Yo, those right. those three. Oh, you gonna plus? freeze me? Okay, go <laughs> ahead. I will kick it again. Yep. <laughs> One more time. Man, I tell you what, man. No, no. What, what's the kicker for Green Bay? What's his name? Okay, uh, Crosby, Mason Crosby. Man, God, boy, he was so clutch, man. Oh, forget he about was it. So, that, ice water ice, in his. I Bailey can't front. Was clutch. The cow, Bailey, I was just yeah, going to say. Bailey, Bailey, Bailey just came out. He's like, oh, oh what? <laughs> That's what y'all need? Y'all need this? I got this. You got, I got this leg. Yo, I got man, this boot. It was, I'll tell you, man, yeah, that game yesterday, that Cowboys game, man. It's funny. We said the Cowboys game, but it's like that was, <laughs> it was green. That's the how, Packers game. How about that? That's, that's, how, that's how great a branding. Yes, that's how, how much branding. of America's team that's the Cowboys good, are. That's how good uh, Jerry wow. Jones is. Wow. Man, Think about that. That game was amazing. I'm telling you, man, I was just like, I, I mean, and I, I wasn't cheering. I was cheering for Green Bay because I wanted one more game in the, in the Georgia Dome. Right. But, you know, at that point, I just became a fan of football because it was that good. And, I, and Dak, he showed me something yesterday, man, because I was like, I thought he was a game manager. No. That, that kid is a big is, time. He's, he's like a bigger big, version of Russell Wilson. Yes. Yo, and and you know what, man? He he they, did it all. They he don't could need not Romo, have played. Man. No, they don't need Romo. That don't even talk about that no, nonsense. No, no, no they, 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 they don't. Let me tell you, man. This dude yesterday, him, Zeke, and Dez literally could not have played a better game. They, they were the triplets, Dez showed man. his backside. They were, they were the throwback yeah. triplets, oh my goodness. man. Yeah. They look like Aikman, Irvin, and Smith. That's true. Man. That's that's real. Like, this looks beautiful, man. And that line was just, man, I mean, you know oh, what? Oh, that line is so the impressive. The offense is, is, is dope, man. I would say they got the best offense in football. I, I mean, I'll I take that offense over the Falcons no, only oh, because, so. okay. only because, only because I prefer Zeke to Freeman. Because Zeke is the kind of dude that, and I understand what you guys are saying, but Zeke is the kind of running back that well, if you he's, use he's, him properly, yeah. he's well, like Chavis Shaq in the middle. Yeah, but it's not just with Zeke, uh, with Freeman, though, because you have it's Kevin Coleman. I know. That's I understand that. But yeah. what because I'm saying is. two number one running, running backs, backs in the same, in the same backfield. backfield. And it's ridiculous. Yeah, man. How did I know that wasn't going to go well? Yeah. but how, how, <laughs> <laughs> Get him, Terry. Yeah, get him. Get him, Chiefs. Go, Andy <laughs> Reid. Oh. Uh, I'm talking mm, about them Falcons. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure you I are. I called the Falcons. Of course. You have a million. You got 65 teams, of course. No, I'm talking the Falcons. What are you talking about? Talking about the Steelers. The Steelers? No, nah, man. That's about the Packers. But what I wasn't talking about was the Raiders. How about that? <laughs> we weren't talking about the Raiders. I mean, listen, I wasn't talking about the Carlos Raiders Matt either. We went with Cook. We went with Cook. We went with Cook. 
Welcome to the Connor Cook era. I text my boy, uh, you, you know Al Thompson. Why, I'm you, a, why you gonna clown Connor Cook though? <laughs> he clowned himself, brother. He don't need me to clown him. Well, no, his but, first start ever in the league. Yeah, yeah it look like it's his last two, probably. <laughs> Maybe he, he can go good. though if he. They would actually that that was poor coaching because that was and you see they promptly fired the offensive Chris coordinator. coordinator. They did yeah. because they came out. You can't even get more conservative than they came out. Yep, nah. nah. When they started letting that kid throw, he actually moved the ball. I in think that game. Connor Cook was whack at Michigan State. Man. Well, well, then that's just how you feel about that. I know. <laughs> like, I thought that's Michigan just State. How you yeah, feel. You're rubbing him the wrong way. You better stop. I'm telling you. No, but I think I think Derek Carr is a monster. Yeah, but. You can't have your your whole team built around one person. It's your not the whole team. Your everybody's goes team. Down. Everybody's, everybody's team is built around a quarterback. No. But you know what? It's only one team that if the quarterback goes down, they'll be all right. That's the Patriots. They bring in what's the other dude? What, what's my man? Yeah, then they they showed it earlier this season, well, but that only lasts for so long. Yeah. Well, honestly, last night I felt like the Chiefs would have done better with Nick Foles because he's a gunslinger and he was willing to. Yeah, throw, I agree. And he would have been willing to throw the ball. But down you the can't field. take that. You can't. Nick you can't Foles. take the as far as you can throw him. But you can't no. take the the. Uh, you know, you can't take your starter out. This is what no, happened to Alex, Alex No, you Smith can't, but I'm saying I would have felt better. In, in San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, you know what will make me feel better? What? A nice, refreshing sip of Gorilla Life. Where? Nothing like the drink of the jungle, ladies and gentlemen. There's only three ingredients. Water, chlorophyll, and a little agave. Ah. Gorilla Life. Life in a bottle. Go check it out, folks. GorillaLife.com. Find it at your local health food store. It is muy delicioso. Cleanses your blood. Gorilla Life. You need to get on that. That green juice. Oh, yeah. That was one of the most beautiful. You like that? Segways. Don't you? I tell you, brother. Time. I'm a I'm professional. Yeah, I and know we, you are. And we got, and we got, and we got a segue. <laughs> I'm marveling. At this, at, at this time, we want to segue into you on your, and not not just on the sports, but in your career and your personal life, man. Talk to me, brother. We just want to. Where can the people find you? you first can and foremost, find me on Twitter at Omar J Dorsey, Instagram Omar J Dorsey, Facebook Omar J Dorsey. You can find me in the A. Hey, I'm hey, I'm on it. I'm on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, so, so, man, Queen Sugar is busting people upside the dome. Hey, man, man I, it's, wow, it's, yeah, it's congratulations! Beautiful. Thank you, man. People's Choice nominee for best uh, cable drama, uh, uh, Image Award Congrats. nominee. Uh, we got a bunch of nominations right now, man. It's just a beautiful time, beautiful time. Just great working with Ava DuVernay, great working with Oprah Winfrey. Um, you know, that's my family now. There it is. Been with them and that's since a, Selma. That's a very good, successful family to be a part of. That's a great, successful family to be a part of, isn't it, man? It that's really great. is, yeah. Well, you know, and, but it's important because they're out there making content that's quality content that represents people who have, to this point, been underrepresented. 100%, yes. And And I really admired what Ava did with her efforts uh, for the people of Flint with the dirty water. Yeah, man. Really, more than anything. Yeah. Uh, uh, and... You know, she's out there. She checks all the boxes, if you will. She's she making does. moves yes. for women, yes. for women of color, for yep. people of color, yeah. and for any admirers of good content, of, exactly. of thought-provoking content. Yep. That 13 documentary on Netflix oh is... Oh, my man. goodness. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Everybody. That should be required that viewing should be in school. For for every American. For, for every American. Yeah, yeah it's just true. Just so you can see. Yeah. Like, yo, man. The that's... dastardliness of, of this uh, government, who, by yes. the way, I, I mean, ironically, we're here celebrating Martin Luther King Jr.'s yes. birthday. And if anybody would like to research, he was called a terrorist prior to his murder. He certainly was. Before he was murdered and yep. became a hero slash martyr, yeah. he was called a terrorist, yeah. folks. Yeah, you have to keep your eyes and your mind open, um, which is what's what we're about on the Ozone, unfair and partial sports talk, right. and with a dash of life. And what, what it is 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 that the system can frame you however you need to be framed, so it's very important for you to have your own opinion, yeah. form your own thoughts, and this is what and I like about your work. About it. I thank you. I appreciate that, man. You know, and I, and I was lucky enough to be in the movie uh, Selma playing the um, great Reverend James Orange, one of my yep. heroes personally. I'm from Atlanta. I, I worked with him, um, and, and, and you know, in my younger days, he and uh, Hosea Williams, uh, directed by Ava. So uh, you know, we're talking about we're reflecting right now on Martin Luther King, and you know, this week. This day, you know, he gets he gets his I'm one of the King days, which is where we're at right now on the ozone right now on one of the King day, you know. And then I think about like uh, you know uh, what Donald Trump said about um, John Lewis this weekend, man, and it like really hit, hit me to the core. I'm not even that political. I mean, you know, right. but like when he hit me, but to you're the aware. Core, I'm aware. But what he said was like um, he's all talk and no action. What has he ever done? And I was yeah. like, you need to read a history book, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This man's skull got bashed in on the Edmund Pettus Bridge. Yeah. Like, what has yeah. he done? He made America great. 
Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he is. Yeah. He, he's he, he's and, all. And, and, and civil rights are for everybody. It's civil not, rights are you know, for everybody, everybody. Because in the words of of, uh, of uh, Dr. King, if you know, if there's an injustice to my brother anywhere, it's an injustice everywhere. It's a threat to justice, threat everywhere. To justice everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, you man. Know, it's like a, this is this isn't just about a certain color or a certain creed. This not is about all. humanity. It's about humanity. It's about humanity. One hundred and ten percent, man. So so when are the awards? When uh, is there a has, has the show Queen Sugar been picked up for season two already? Come on, man. Come on, people, y'all can invest in Queen Sugar. Where can, they, where can they find it? You can find it on the OWN Network, O-W-N. That's Open Open Winfrey Network. Uh, we come on Wednesday nights at 10 o'clock. We'll be back. I believe we'll be back in June. We start shooting season two in, um, in March. So, uh, yeah, man, I'm just very excited. I got a new film, a Steven Spielberg film oh. called uh, Thank wow. You For Your Service. I just came from. That's what I was just at Warner Brothers doing. Some well, well, thank for you that. for coming through. Man. Easy. I mean Steven Spielberg. He's, wow, he's, yes. uh, how do you beat Steven Spielberg? Steven know. Spielberg, Oprah. Yeah. Oprah. I mean, this is yeah. man, brother. Can I, I let mean, me hold a hundred thousand? I ain't even got it. I ain't let me even got it. <laughs> 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 so we got that film coming out uh, this year. We got another film called Cargo coming out this year. Um, you know, um, we just we just out here hustling right now, man. That's Not what even it hustling. is. We're out here working. We're out here creating content. We're out here great creating great beautiful art, man. And you're telling stories from you're a perspective st- that matters because and people care. Yeah, that's what it True. is. Yeah, man, that's what it is because like, it represents them. Yeah, it does, man. I mean, you know, like even with like like we like both of us, you know, we are doing work that like we're reflecting life. Yes, we're, we're reflecting, you know, people, and people can actually sit there and like that's me. You know, like every, every, everywhere I go. This is the highest compliment I get when people come up to me. Man, man, you remind me of my cousin, boy. Every time, boy. I got a, I, yeah, 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 man, right. I got, man, I know a dude owe me $50. He looked just, just like, like you. you. Like, like, uh, yeah, I ain't got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you hey, need to man? find him. You need to find him. So now that's what we're doing, man. You know, uh, it's just, like I said, man, I, I, you know, I, I, I dabble with the NFL network from time to time. The Falcons correspondent. You know, I'm out there um, representing the Falcons. Uh, so, you know, just doing all kind of stuff that I'm really loving, man. Well, I appreciate you coming in, brother. Man. We're going to have you back uh, uh, maybe on a call if you're busy. Sounds like you're really busy, man, so we appreciate your time. Oh, man, I but but we're going to have you back on a call yeah. either after this weekend when the Falcons get that dub. I actually think the Falcons are going to beat the, the so. Packers. Yeah. And then, I, uh, I don't know. I'm going to stay humble. We're just going to play a very good game. That's what's what well, you play. Them if, you, in the year. if you play a very good game, you guys will beat the, the Packers and you guys have a great <laughs> chance to win the Super Bowl because to my in my opinion those conditions are more favorable to another dome team than they are to anybody else gotcha uh but yeah we want to get you back on for a phone call the sum up where we'll find out who the Falcons are playing next week and Ooh. see if Keith Sweat is involved or <laughs> see if they're going to the uh <laughs> or see if they if they're going to the big dance yeah really appreciate you man is there anything else you want to shout out any charity groups or any any people can find your work people can find you on Twitter yeah. Omar J Dorsey Twitter and Instagram yes. anything else you want to speak man, on you want to talk about the Hosea Williams feed the hungry uh in Atlanta um, if you get a chance, you can go uh, on their Twitter page, go on their Facebook page, and um, they're doing great work. Uh, Famo Amalami, who is my mentor, is, he runs it, and his uh, his wife Elizabeth Williams Amalami, that's Hosea Williams' daughter. They they run that. Uh, Hosea Williams, civil rights li- civil yes. rights leader, marched with Dr. King and sure Don did. Lewis. Played and, played by Wendell Pierce in the movie in Selma. The film, Selma. Yeah, yeah um, he was on that Emmett Pettus Bridge. He got beat up, but he's a great man, and I love him. So you, if you want to, um, you know, feel free to go over there. Just like the page, you know, and if you <laughs> and, and if you got five dollars on you. Throw them five dollars. Throw them five. Lay yeah. off that Starbucks coffee one day. Just for one day, yeah. And one more time, what's the name of that? Uh, what? That's Hosea Williams, Feed the Hungry. Jose Williams, Feed the Hungry. Nice. Yes. Brother Omar, great having you, man. Always thanks a for blessing. being a part of the yes. Ozone. Awesome. Yes. Ozone, folks, thanks for tuning in. Uh, look forward to having you back next week. And of course, we have to close with a quote from Martin Luther King Jr. just before we hit you with that funky stuff from George Clinton. And the quote is. Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about the things that matter. Carpe diem, ladies and gentlemen. Ozone. Ozone. 